Welcome to this week's Coaches Show presented by State Farm Agent and CBC alum Tim Kylo. We're here with CBC head coach Scott Pingle. Coach, great to see you. Good to see you too, Patrick. Uh, another big win by your team on Friday night. The question's getting a bit stale, but another shutout from your defense. Can you recall coaching a team that was that dominant? You know, I think our defense is definitely playing really, really well. Uh, they're playing as a great unit. You know, we're, we're trying to get as many guys, what we call in the picture as possible. So that means trying to get as many guys to the ball as possible. Uh, can I recall another great defense? You know, I, th I think in 11 we had a pretty stellar defense. I think 12 we had a pretty good defense. Um, it's kind of like anything. When you get hot, it just kind of keeps rolling, and the guys are really feeding well off each other right now. You know, you get hot and it keeps rolling, and that's it's, it's more than just defense for your team. It's, it's really you're, you're clicking on all sides of the ball. How do you keep your team focused through the week? What are you asking them to focus on to, to continue to get better? You know, we are really smoke, focusing on the small details, making sure we're taking care of what CBC's football can take care of. Uh, we can take care of how we practice. We can take care of how we do certain things. Each week during the, the practice week, we have what we call a, a, a GATA session where we get after each other. Uh, we we kind of challenge each other in s different scenarios, like it's ones versus ones on goal line or ones versus ones red zone coming out. So we try to keep them fresh by giving them challenges throughout the week. So it's not only competing against other teams. you got your guys competing against each other, getting better every day. Yeah, and challenges it daily. That's awesome to hear. Uh, we haven't yet talked about uh, the special teams this year. Um, Great performances out of your kicker, Caleb Meinzer, and then tell us about some of those other guys as yeah. well. Caleb's been a great, great find for us. You know, he came out last year and said, can I try kicking? And, and then he just kind of kept getting better and better and better and kept working harder. But, you know, when you got a solid kicker back there, that you know, you, anytime you get within a 30, you, you got possibly three points on the board. He, he gives us a great boost on, on as far as energy. And then his kickoff's been phenomenal. You know, making a high school team always drive 80 yards is kind of a tough thing. And that's kind of, you know, we were talking about how the special teams have set up the offense and the offense have set up the defense. So we kind of talk about how all three phases work together. Uh, but as far as kicking, Caleb's been doing great. Um, so we got some special team guys that just take a lot of pride and run down the field and try to make tackles. Uh, you got Clayton Stallings in there. You got Tyler England in there. You got Derek Speltz in there. You know, you got Nick Wheeler. You got Rudy Hamilton. We got guys that just love playing special teams and flying down there. And, and you know, they know that's their way to contribute and they're embracing it. You, you can tell they take a lot of pride in what they do. And, and to your point on Caleb, incredibly strong leg. He was a soccer player, I believe, right? He was early in his career. And then, uh, you know, when he came out for football as a junior, he started out as a D lineman, then we, he said, let me try kicking, and we said, okay, and, and it it's, worked out. It's not too often you see a kicker wearing number 68, but it sounds like he stuck with his D line jersey. He did. He, he st stuck to his roots. I like that move. Um, let's talk about some of the younger guys. Uh, a great uh, success through the year uh, for both the freshman and JV teams. Um, tell me about some of those guys and, and how those uh, parts of the program are coming along. Okay, good. You know, definitely, I'm glad you said program. We try to institute this as a program from top to bottom. We're all trying to run the same thing, do the same same terminology, uh, play the same style of football. So all three levels are playing a little bit up-tempo on both sides of the ball. With our, our new situation, I can watch all the games pretty easily. So I watched every game so far, the freshman and JV. You know, the freshmen have done a great job on defense. You know, they got a great D lineman named Austin Simpson doing a great job there. We got Luke Carey at middle backer, you know, flying around in the ball. Uh, Tyler Walton's been kind of on the back end doing a nice job at safety, kind of coming downhill, making sure they're in the right coverages. Um, offensive ball, you know, you got Antoine Higgins. He's running the ball really well. You got uh, three D linemen, or three offensive linemen, Presnard. Uh, Nolan Early and Michael Holton, they're all doing a great job for Coach Maris and Coach Curtis. So those young guys on the freshman level are starting to see what it means to be CBC, and that's what we always stress to them. Uh, JV, you know, I think they've been very phenomenal because not only do they have to play every week, they got to prepare us on varsity. It's really your hardest year of high school football, uh, but man, they've been stepping up. You know, you got people like on offense, you got Brandon Douglas, the quarterback, you got Benji Gormley as an outside receiver. You got uh, Cameron Babb, the freshman that came up. You got Brent Bledsoe on the back end in the secondary. You got uh, Kalen Robinson, Darren Bennett. You know, it's it's fun. These guys are gelling. They're having fun, and they know that they they're getting us better. So it's they've been a phenomenal thing for us this year. It's an exciting time for cadet football. Uh, you truly are building a program. That's a testament uh, to you, your coaching staff, and really the buying you got from the kids. So it's great to see. Um, now let's uh, get down to business on this Friday. We got Slew coming in, classic MCC matchup. What do you what do you expect? Well, I think you're going to see a lot of speed. Uh, I know we got a little bit of speed. I know Slew's got a lot of speed, too. they got playmakers on every side of the ball, just like we do. Uh, it's going to be kind of an offensive line versus defensive line, if, if you ask me. I think whoever's going to win that one, because I think our speed can kind of match each other up, but whoever can win those trenches will really set themselves apart this week. All right, well, it's, uh, thanks for that breakdown. Uh, you may be able to hear in the hallway, folks, the, the students are excited for the game. Um, we're excited for it. We'll be there cheering for you. Great, thank you.